Hey everyone, and welcome to part three of Let's Play the Original Mega Man. As promised, we're gonna go after a Lech Man this time. Arbitrary number of points, go! Alright, first room, and we already got stuff to learn. Weapons that can kill these gabules. Especially when you hit them with it. You can also use um, Bomb Man's Hyper Bombs. Obviously, that's uh, a little more troublesome to hit him with. Alright, don't do this to me, game. This is also a good uh, point to talk about. Um, the first Mega Man here, unlike future games, Mega Man has a weird kind of uh, inertia as he walks. Um, anytime he runs... Uh, and you stop running, he'll move forward another step. Um, later on, that only happens in, like, ice stages and stuff. But in this game, that's a regular feature. And it can make some jumping kind of tricky. No! I'm using lots of Cutman's weapon here. Gotta be a little careful since that's what the Lech Man is weak against, but it only takes three hits to kill him, so. And here we have disappearing blocks. <laughs> yeah, this is um, our first introduction to disappearing blocks in the game. Ah. This is also the first vertical based level in the series, of course. I mean, this is the first game, so a lot of the stuff it does is the first in the series, but. Come on. Alright, the only thing over there is weapon energy. Which, since I'm actually using the electric cutter, is not terrible, but hardly necessary at this point. Thank God, out of that part. Now because of those weird jumping mechanics, I don't feel comfortable getting that uh, large energy, so we're just going to continue on with our lives. It doesn't matter horribly which way you go here. No! Quick before they come back. It's pretty much your choice of what you want to avoid elect beams or gabules. Oh, oh come on. All right, that thing is pretty important. If we don't grab that item, it is impossible to beat the game, so we want it. Alright, that is the magnet beam. It's kind of like a little beam that we can use to make platforms to jump around on. Wow, look at that! I did not know that glitch existed here. That was completely by accident. Alright, I found another spot. That's cool. I learned something new. Don't get to do that too often with the, uh, you know, the game you've played a million times. Oh god. Alright, and we got a little, some jumpy screw guys here. Pretty sure that hit him. Oh no, I can't get up! No! So we'll just pop out the magnet beam there, make a little platform, continue on our way. Here we have a carbon copy of a room we've already done. It just doesn't have the energy capsule in it. Little bit of laziness already. A 
Wonder if we can get the big eye to jump off. What? What? Are you kidding me right now? You saw that, right? You saw that, right? Big eye phases through the ladder. Whatever, game. That was... I cannot believe that just happened. I hate you, game. Jesus, come on. These are basic jumps, Mega Man. Stop failing. At least they haven't had the decency to drop some energy. Hey, look, there it is again. And it restored its energy. Alright. I didn't know that could happen either. And you know, I never die here. Stupid big eye. So I've never actually picked it up twice. Hey, free guy. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, this is as good a point as any to show off that Hyper Bomb can actually kill him too. Hooray! Screw guys can't hit me this time. Can't believe that big eye. That was ridiculous. And you're a face, big eye. Alright, and of course our job isn't over yet. We got two screens of elect beams to get through. Oh, really? Alright, even though we have guts blocks in the room, that's not what we're using. Son of a bitch. A luck beam kills you in three hits. No way around that, it's the strongest weapon in the game. It's the most damaging weapon in the game against you, it's the only weapon that can kill Mega Man in three hits. That's why going after a Man first is a poor idea. There is a way to, if you're quick, exploit his um, AI and lock him down with an arm cannon, but it's not nearly as reliable as it was in the Game Boy version of the game. Sometimes you can get lucky and actually hit him twice with one blade if you can catch him on the rebound. I remember when I first played this game, when I was a kid, Elec Man was one of the, I think I went after Elec Man first. You know, and I got here, and I was like, yay, I got you the boss. He just uh, annihilated me. Because the room isn't exactly conducive to good dodging, which is what makes it such a pain. It's a super high damage weapon, and you have like, no chance of dodging it. 
you know, at least we got it done, even if the big guy did uh, make that video a little longer than it had to be. So that's going to do it for that. We're going to go after Iceman next time. So I will see you in part four when we head to the frozen north.